Hey guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. In today's video, we are going to be continuing the Building My Michaels Planner from Scratch series. I'm so happy that you guys are just as excited for this series as I am. I love setting up planners and I'm so happy to be setting up one and actually using what I'm setting up. So today we are going to be talking about pockets. The pockets of a planner are often decorated. They're so cute. They're inspirational. They can have some functional elements as well. I'm going to be using mine as an inspiration. Now, before I was using this planner, you guys, if you're familiar here with the channel and you've been around and a part of the Chaotic Critic fan for a while, you'll know that earlier in the year I was using this half letter art system and I never got around to really decorating my pocket area. It was just literally just always looked like this. So I went into my stash to see what I had and I found some journaling cards small and large that would be perfect. Now I've seen a lot of people jazz up their pockets to like a T perfection but I'm going to go ahead and just share with you guys what I'm doing. So first things first I have these here which are this and this one are from Wildly Noted and then I also have this one which is from Isis Ella Jewels so the jewel box and then I have more here that I keep inside of this little container this is a great storage option for me when it comes to not only storing stickers but also dividing things by shop and or like categories so the larger dashboards and things that I have I just went ahead and put them in here this is a five by seven photo box you can get these from Michaels and then I do have some four by six options as well the smaller ones so in here as you can see I have this one be the change this was a part of this was a freebie and an exclusive collab um two little bees and I forgot the other shot but I shared this in a haul this one is from wild and wicked designs Selena and then more from the jewel box and then this is from golden plans co so while you could easily just take these cards, cards like these, greeting cards are a great option. Of course, you can take journaling cards as well. As you can see, this one from Wildly Noted is also small. So those are great options. Another way to do this is if you were to take cardstock and then create little inspirational cards for yourself, kind of like I did with the dashboards, you could do that on a smaller scale and put it in the front. Another thing that's cool to put in the front if you want it to be more functional is to put a calendar or your schedule for the week, a quick at a glance to really maximize the space. Again, if you want that extra functional element. For me, I just wanted to have a decorative inspirational space that I can switch out and also protect my cards. So speaking of protection, that is where the lamination comes in. So I laminated both of these cards. This one I did not laminate yet. This is also a little bit thicker. So I laminated them and they also have tape on the back. I put tape because I actually tape mine as you can see here to the outside just like that and then this one I stick here I stick it in a little bit but just to hold it in place the tape gives me control to not only move it around but again I have the flexibility to lift it whenever I want and the tape that I use is just regular scotch tape I did not use double stick tape because I want to be able to remove the tape whenever I decide to switch things up. And plus, when you move things around a lot, of course, the, the tape can become dull. So this one here, the inhale, exhale, goes right there. 
So one of the things with laminating it, not only does it protect your cards, but it's also easy for you to go ahead and wipe them down. When I got this planner, it was super duper dusty and with everything going on, we wanna make sure that we keep things protected and clean. So my pens, I can disinfect those. My dividers, because they're laminated, I can disinfect those. My rings, I can take everything out of the planner and disinfect, cause that's what I had to do to get this dust off, cause it was really, really dusty and gross. So this i'm able to not only protect them but clean them and swap them out so when i'm not using them and i don't want to have them anymore they'll go back into here and then i can bring the next ones in and laminate them so i'm going to share with you guys quickly my process of laminating what i use and here is just my pockets right now i don't think i want to add a paper clip or anything because paper clips are not my thing i also tried using paper clips to like put these on here that don't work for me either. The other thing that I've added to this back pocket is this book here. This is actually a notebook I got in some happy mail. It is, um, this is a Teresa Collins notebook. It just says girl boss. Girl boss is one of my least favorite terms now that I think about it. So I'm going to end up covering this and decorating it. But I just have quotes that I love inside of here and things that stand out to me. So this is more of just an inspirational type of journal. I know I also have my memory planner, which is this one from Michaels, but another Michaels, the girl over here is all Michaels everything at the moment. But I wanted to just write down the quotes and I um, write about the quotes inside of here as well. So that's just something that I wanted to do and it is what it is. I don't do that inside of my memory planner. I also want to note that when I'm putting things together in my planner and just looking at my system overall, I want to make sure that I'm not super redundant. So this is something that I don't have in my memory planner. I do have a lot of deco in there, but this is just a whole completely different setup. A lot of brainstorming and project planning. All the things are inside of here. And this is just wonderful for me to open up and look at and just hold, continue to hold myself accountable, keep that pact I have with myself to stay disciplined and keep it moving. So let me go ahead and share with you guys my quick one-two process of creating these and that's that. So here is the laminator that I use, the Amazon Basics Laminator. Last time I checked, this was not in stock, but I will have alternatives in the description box for you to check out. It's pretty noisy, so I'm gonna set it over there. So these are also Amazon laminating sheets, and what I do is just put this inside of here. If I had a smaller one, I'm pretty sure I could fit that as well. But just gonna go like that. I try not to shove a whole bunch of things inside of here. But then we just go ahead and put it in the laminator and it goes through. And I hold the bottom just to make sure that there's no bubbles or anything, that it's all good. So that is option number one to laminate your cards and I know a lot of people run it back through the laminator I have been doing the same thing as well so that is going through and it's also looks like it's kind of making it pop again like the colors they're popping either way they're protected option number two is to take self laminating cards that you can find at Dollar Tree. There's also Scotch versions as well. So you just open those up, peel it back, and then you can put this here. I'm actually gonna do it like this. Position it however you like. And then lay the lamination down and then there you have it.
this one has a little bit of had a little bit of a bump in the back but okay I was able to straighten it out but that is another option of what you can do with your greeting cards your lamination what have you and then greeting cards and lamination I mean your greeting cards and your journaling cards that you get and then just go ahead and cut them when you're done make sure when you're cutting them you leave that line that is around it so that you're not breaking the seal and defeating the purpose of you laminating it in the first place I'm just quickly cutting this I'll have to go back and really take a closer look but that is how it turns out super quick and easy and again it's a great way for you to not just preserve it but to sanitize as well and keep your planner clean so that is that that is how I decorated my pockets I now have these cards laminated and ready to go if I ever choose to switch them out which knowing myself eventually I will this is also another great option if you want to add a seasonal element to your planner and you don't want the whole entire layout to be for that season you could do your pockets that way so this would be dope for me to do something fall related or Christmas themed here that would be cool as well and with the size of these cards if you have a smaller planner these would also work and serve as the dashboard dividers how I made here this is just a larger planner but that this size here of these journaling cards and or greeting cards will work great for that as well these are also great for layering if you choose to decorate larger dividers so that is all that in a nutshell I hope that that helped you guys out next video we're going to be getting more into the planning of how I'm using my pages so stay tuned for that if you guys haven't checked out any previous episodes in this series I'll have them linked in the description box but I want to hear from you guys in the comments do you decorate the pockets of your planner are you more of just pen and paper or do you like deco let's chat in the comments along with all of the things that I featured in this video I'll also have links to related videos and of course the blog and Instagram Instagram in the description box. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. My Instagram is at chaoticcritic. If you're not subscribed to the Chaotic Critic fam, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And for all of you that are, I thank you. I love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.